This time, we're going to actually catch jellyfish and take a closer look at their lives and their secrets. Recently, you may have noticed more news reports about massive jellyfish blooms. But how exactly do jellyfish reproduce and multiply? In recent years, due to rapid climate change, we often hear stories of certain species suddenly blooming in huge numbers. Among the jellyfish that have recently become a problem are Nomura's jellyfish and the moon jellyfish. We heard that moon jellyfish have been blooming on a massive scale, causing serious damage to fisheries. So, we chartered a boat and headed straight to a site where these blooms were happening. Can you see them? These are moon jellyfish. Moon jellyfish usually live about 2 meters below the surface. So from above water, it's hard to tell how many there are. When we lowered a camera into the water, we found a large number of them. Scooping them up with a net and putting them in a tank, the tank was full after just three scoops. That already seemed like a lot, but the boat's captain told us right now you can barely see them. He explained that they're much more visible at night with lights, so we agreed to meet again after dark and headed back out to sea. We stopped in the same spot as before and shone a powerful light into the water. After a short while, can you see it? Jellyfish began gathering rapidly, and soon there were so many that it looked like a cloud drifting through the water. Moon jellyfish aren't generally attracted to light, but their food, plankton, is. So they rise to the surface to feed. Amazing, isn't it? When we scooped them up with a dip net, we caught so many that the net was almost breaking. The density was nothing like during the day, and I finally understood what the captain meant by few jellyfish earlier. Even after catching so many, it seemed like there was no decrease at all in the sea. When we lowered the camera again, it was almost scary. There seemed to be more jellyfish than seawater. What's even more shocking is that the moon jellyfish blooming right now are still young and not fully grown. Most of them are about 10 centimeters across now, but they can grow to 20 to 30 centimeters. That means this massive swarm will get even bigger. Moon jellyfish are relatively small compared to other species and have weak venom. But in some areas, abnormal blooms have caused major problems, damaging fish nets, reducing catches, and blocking waterways, seriously impacting fisheries. So, how do jellyfish reproduce and increase their numbers? In fact, jellyfish can reproduce both sexually and asexually. The jellyfish we usually see drifting in the water are in the medusa stage. During this stage, they reproduce sexually by releasing sperm and eggs into the water. If you look closely at a moon jellyfish, you'll see ring-shaped patterns. These are their gonads. Jellyfish are either male or female, and in these gonads, they produce and release sperm or eggs. The fertilized larvae swim freely, but eventually settle in a suitable spot transforming into a form called a polyp. In the polyp stage, jellyfish reproduce asexually. Polyps can reproduce in several ways, and one of them is truly surprising. The polyp transforms into a special form called a strobila. Its stacked layers separate one by one, and each becomes a medusa stage jellyfish. Strange, isn't it? Polyps can also reproduce asexually by budding or splitting. In theory, one polyp could produce up to 5,000 jellyfish, according to research. Shocking, right? Because of this, removing polyps is an effective way to control jellyfish populations. 
That's why there are so many efforts to remove polyps to prevent blooms. But in reality, it's nearly impossible to remove them all. So stopping blooms entirely this way is difficult. Instead, authorities and private groups work together to quickly detect jellyfish occurrences and movements so they can respond rapidly during blooms and minimize damage to tourists and fisheries. In addition to moon jellyfish, large blooms of Nomura's jellyfish have also been reported. So everyone, watch out for jellyfish. We're also planning to make a video soon about the body structure and biology of jellyfish. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, using science to uncover nature's mysteries.